I initially came to Indiana University as a group student uh, back in 1991. And because I had some financial difficulties, by the end of my fall semester, I wasn't able to stay, so I left. I didn't think that it would be possible for me to leave school. I came to school very arrogant <laughs> in terms of I felt like I had the, the brains to be able to meet any challenges I faced. I did not anticipate that my parents would say, yeah, we don't have the money, you need to come home. So for me, that was like, oh, this cannot be happening to me. Needless to say, about 10 years passed in between that time. Um, I met and married, well, I knew my husband before I left school, but we got married. I have four children. Um, <laughs> uh, and it was, I don't know, shortly after the birth of my uh, last son that I started really thinking about, man, I wanted to do more with my life. Biology was still in the back of my mind, but I didn't know how I would make that work now, having four kids, working, all of that just didn't seem like it would ever translate into a degree for me. So um, I met with an advisor and she mentioned to me about the continuing studies program and that I could qualify, you know, that I would be qualified to enter that program. And I didn't know at the time that I would have enough credit hours to get an associate's degree. So I initially got an associate's degree after one year. I was surprised that I went in to meet my advisor and she was like, well, do you want to graduate? And I'm like, Gradu graduate from what? She explained to me how the degree works, how you can use some of your life experiences in addition to your um, credit hours. And I had never thought about it that way. So I thought that, wow, this is really good that, that somewhere you can get credit for some of the things that you've done in life. <laughs> Um, when I finished my bachelor's degree in general studies with a science math concentration, I applied for the um, master's program for microbiology and I was accepted here at IU. And when I completed my uh, master's degree, I had gotten a job at Eli Lilly uh, working as an admin scientist. And so these are all the things that I never thought would happen for me. Uh, <laughs> But what I think the biggest uh, benefit has been is that my kids have, I have tried to include them in every aspect of my education. All of them talk about going to college. That may not have happened had I not taken the steps to come back myself. They knew that I was working or working towards something and I would talk to them about college and opportunities that uh, the campus had, even, you know, for families, just the different things that you can do on IU's campus, if, even if it's nothing but going to look at the fountains or the out artwork. All of this, I felt like, was uh, gave me the ability to kind of immerse them more into college life. This should be, I didn't want it to be a second thought. I wanted it to be the first thought, a natural thought. When I finish high school, I have to go to college. When you have a goal that you meet, there's nothing like it in the world, that feeling like, oh, I did it, I finally, and then it just sets you up to set the next goal. Like, okay, I was able to do that. And my, I don't know, for me, my motto is one step at a time. I just went one, one day at a time, focused on what I could do. If you don't ever even try, even take that first step, you'll, you'll never know.